How's Miss Weaver feeling? I leveled my druid first and was thinking about gearing up the Miss Weaver next. I think Miss Weaver's in a pretty good spot. I mean, I was doing raid last night and dude, my, I had the most tragic parse story. I showed, I, I made a little short and showed it to my guild, but we got absolutely trolled last night. I had our, I was doing a mechanic where you have to like run out and stand out there before your bomb goes off and someone just like absolutely kamikaze straight into me with their bomb and like we just both died uh, i got a zero parse for that but other than that dude i was cranking in heals last night it felt really good and then uh, in terms of mythic plus um these hook guys are so annoying in terms of mythic plus i think we have a lot of good tools i love celestial conduit i do think a, a lot of people are asking me like why why does shaylun's feel bad and why does it feel as good? I think it's just that it was so strong in Dragonflight that now that it's at like a, it's at like a good spot, you know, it just feels a lot less good, you know. But I think it's, I think it's, it's in a good spot. You you now have like one more tool, but two of your tools feel weaker than they used to, kind of thing. Like, but I I really like the state it's in. And like in once we get into like higher end keys, it's gonna be nice to to kind of be able to extend health bars a lot, like how shamans do. Like, shamans, they have a thing where whenever you heal people, you can, like, give them 10% bonus health. Like, just add 10% of their health bar to them as bonus. And we, we kind of have that in the in the Black Ox procs, so... I don't know. I, I like it. It makes you feel, like, impactful, you know? Even when you're, like, overhealing. Um, hello? She's out there shooting firebombs at us. I'm no, I'm no expert, but firebomb... Does not seem like something that we should ignore. Yeesh. Okay. Maybe we like pair her, bring her in. I don't. I don't like all this, but hey, we're here. Yeesh. Ooh, we're getting clobbered. Definitely shouldn't be sitting on the Shaloon stacks though. Will help us cycle our T's faster too. But like, uh, I saw a lot of comments on my video that I posted uh, this morning. It was just me doing my first dungeon. It was on this Tuesday, as soon as Mythic Zeros opened up. Um, so I was like pretty undergeared still, especially because like I was more undergeared than most at that point. And um, I saw a lot of comments saying that like they just didn't feel like the normal place of like ancient teachings was like cutting it anymore and i don't know i i definitely think it is but w whenever you're under gear oh my gosh what did i just say whenever you're under geared i think a lot of people kind of forget what it feels like but your maintenance healing does feel a lot less impactful but it still is like important and impactful but, like it does feel like sometimes you'll fall behind more and rely on like spot healing and like your spot acid spells and stuff a bit more but doesn't mean that your your maintenance healing is like not important not good or worth it anymore you know i saw a lot of people were like i'm swapping builds it's like i don't know i'd still probably advise it it's gonna be a struggle getting used to because like you're just gonna fall behind more often you know i mean can't rely on your your maintenance healing okay it looks like yeah we are pulling which is kind of terrifying i would like to not to oh boy oh god run from him please Oh my gosh, I will say though, I uh, I did a dungeon yesterday where I was playing with a mage and a hunter, and y'all can probably already see where the story's going, but man, it felt like I was playing a voker, because every time I Celestial Conduit, co Conduited? Conduited. Wow, that past tense does not make sense to me. Every time that I pressed this spell, how about that, um, it, like, it wasn't reaching them, and I was like, what is going on? And uh, I, I noticed that they were like way out in Narnia for the entire dungeon. So I typed like, hey, do you guys mind like scooting in? Some of my heals aren't hitting you. And they did. And it, like the, the dungeon got so much smoother then because I'm, I'm sure like some other healing sources weren't going to them and stuff. Like maybe a Shaylunes was like missing them and that kind of thing. But like just the simple act of like just asking people to scoot in you'd be surprised some people ignore it but like i don't know it felt really good after that when they did do it but good luck on the loot yes
We're hoping for some loot this time. Did we get something? No, we did not. We got deep sea satin. Nothing good, but we need a waist and we need hands. Those are our only two like lagging behind slots right now. I'm still holding off on crafting as well um, because I don't want to like, I, I don't want to waste crests. I really don't. That's why I'm like sitting at like a lower item level on average because I haven't used any of my crests. I've just been using Valor Stones to upgrade things. Um, and then like as, as the vault opens, as Mythic Plus opens up, I'm gonna see what pieces I can get and um, go like craft off of that. I don't I don't want to craft before I get gear because then you risk like getting that piece, you know. Even though I'm pretty sure I'm still gonna end up crafting a like a two hand or something. But yeah, uh, which situations exactly are Celestial Conduit for? Um, so it, it's one of those spells that you really have to like play with it to, to know. It I mean, it does do very good throughput like. Using it for its raw throughput is very solid, but it's not like gonna break the bank. It's not gonna be like your, your number one go-to. Like, I forgot what, where we were. I was literally talking, just yapping away. Got mowed down by the mafia, but <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> this guy said, I forgot, LOL, yeah. But um, it does good throughput, and it's especially like repeated throughput. Like, it's very it's pretty good for that. But then also like, it's, it's good for like, for smoothing out your rotation in Mythic Plus. So like, since it gives you a lot of your other spells like cooldown reduction because of a uh, Yulon that it procs, you can just use it for like a very solid like rotation, like getting your Thunder Focus T off cooldown quicker so that you just get more bursts of healing and stuff or getting um, like Life Cocoon back. Like you'll see me do it a lot right after I press Life Cocoon just for the, the cooldown reduction basically. Not just for the cooldown reduction, but um, I don't know. It just does so many things. It's also, it's good for mobility. So if you know that you have to be healing on the move, like if I know that I'm about to get a mechanic where we're going to be moving around a lot and I need AOE healing at the same time, it like, that is, that is the cooldown. You know, it's like if, if, if I need to cast Shaylun's Gift, but I can't because I know I'm going to have to be moving, so it's Celestial Conduit, you know? <laughs> yeah, LMAO. Holy crap, ouch. I totally just was yapping away W King. Um... We definitely got mowed down. That's that's actually hilarious. And as it was happening too, it's like one of those things where it's like I know I could probably like survive, but at this point I'm just accepting my fate. But yeah, it's one of those things. It's also really cool because like you can cast a couple different spells while you're channeling it, so it's not like you're just sitting there being a beacon of healing. Like, oh, let me press it. So say like I'm I'm doing it and I need even more mobility. I can be like pressing it and I can roll and I'm still channeling, or I can dispel and still be channeling. Like you can pop your defensives and still be channeling like it's just it really is it its strength lies a lot in its versatility not just its throughput you know it's one of those cooldowns um so it does take like a lot more practice getting used to it but yeah it definitely is really really good Like, you know, chi is just, like, all around good because of how much throughput it does. It's definitely not that, you know? But it's, it is, it's close. It does, it does good throughput. Yikes. Like, right now, I wish I had it, because I, like, I'm trying to plant and cast Shea Looms, but I just don't have it, like... I like it. I think it's, it's pretty good. But yeah, like I said, a lot of its strength lies in just how many things it does, you know? So it's like, it's I can't really give you one answer except for just kind of like giving you a little display of everything it can do. Yeah, it's quickly become like one of, one of my favorite buttons. I still love Chigi. Like, I'm a hardcore Chigi guy. Like, Every time I press GG, the dopamine just like shoots off, you know. Uh, what is your add-on to heal? So I use Cell, which I said I would post it in my Discord after the stream, but I realized I forgot. Um, so I'll definitely look to do that tonight. But I use Cell, that's what the nameplates are. And then I use um, Omni CD so that I can see like my group's cooldown. So I know like, hey, I probably should like spam into the tank right now because he has no defensives, like that kind of thing. And then I use Weak Wars just to display my... Um, to display my cooldowns in a more like organized fashion than the the default UI, and that's what this little brick is down here of 
of, of spells and cooldowns. But yeah, that little trio is like all you need. Omni CD Cell, that's C E L L. Because um, it allows me to click cast, like hover my mouse over and just cast spells. And then it also displays like health bars, you know? Kind of does everything. Let's just like bring this guy. I was going to say, we could just like let our ancient teachings like funnel into him. But no, it's just so much safer to just get queuing him up. Yeah. Um, I didn't know any of that, so that was helpful. Okay, good. I don't use Voodoo. I actually was told. When I first started playing the game, they were like, yeah, Voodoo's really good. LVI is really good. Like, both of those are really good add-ons. Just, like, don't use them, though. It's a lot. <laughs> and I was like, okay. Fair enough. Um, oh, gosh. On which spell do you use your Thunder Focus T stack the most? In Raid and Mythic Plus, if different, I usually default to Free and Belty Mist. Um, ooh, okay, so definitely be moving. Uh, so in Mythic Plus, I, I use it mostly on... Um, Rising Sun Kick. I can't res this guy, so. I use it mostly on Rising Sun Kick just to guarantee two rapid fire uh, ones for like just all the value that that spell has. Like it, in in most moments of all of your rotational spells, like Rising Sun Kick converts to the most healing because it applies a Renewing Mist, it extends your Renewing Mist, like extends any enveloping mists. It does like a small, this pally just dipped. Oh, what? Oh my gosh, this paladin just dipped. What? Come on. He's on the way back. Okay, nice. Uh, but yeah, I use it on Thunder Focus T. I use Thunder Focus T on Rising Sun Kick and Mythic Plus most of the time. Every now and then I'll use it for like if I need a spot heal on the move, like, you know, very situational, I'll use it on Enveloping Mist, but I try not to. That's like a, a habit you should try to break because you you get enough um strength of black ox procs to where you can get those like very quick casted enveloping mists um so like that is one way to like maintain enveloping mist better on your tank or on whoever needs it and stuff um but yeah it's it's just like one of those habits you, you should try to break making that your default it's not a bad one to use but then the other one that I'll, I'll use it on from time to time, I won't use it on like these dungeons, but like whenever I push Mythic Plus, you'll see me use it on Expel Harm rarely, like if I just need like a small little shield. Um, other than that, in Raid, with the build that I'm using, I use it on um, on Renewing Mist, um, but like on some bosses, I'll swap to the, the, the Rising Mist build and, oh God, and use it on Rising Sun Kick there. Um, I think I used it on a, like a Renewing Mist once and an Enveloping Mist once on that build too, but mostly I used it on Renewing Mist because I used, um, oh god, and Chain Stun, that was the worst cheesy I think I've ever done. But yeah, they, it has like a lot of different options, but for the most part, Mythic Plus, you try to use it on Rising Sun Kick, oh, this feels like a mistake, what are we doing? Um, maybe we Revival? Sure, let's revival. Let's help out the tank. Let's pop a defensive. We're gonna need a prayer. Everyone cross your fingers. Hopefully we can survive this. Nope. One person dead. I am silenced, but we're still kicking. I'm still silenced. I can't expel harm. It's very awkward. Okay, we made it. But like, there's just it's one of those things too, just like with um Conduit of the Celestials, like in, in Mythic Plus, gosh, these trees are very, like, in the way. But in Mythic Plus, like, there's just so much that you're getting from hitting your Rising Sun Kick with it. Like, even as little as, like, just the verse buff from, like, Secret Infusions is nice, you know? It can help out in a pool, help you bounce back and, like, steady out health bars and stuff. But, yeah, that's, that's kind of where I mostly use it. Okay, I do see a couple messages on YouTube that I, I think I was too busy to, to catch. Um... Bells are so messed up right now, yeah. Can you explain your rotation a bit? I'm a little rusty. I do have... Well, I guess I didn't make a one-minute guide this season for Mistweaver, but... Yeah, let's dodge... The, oh, the, I almost hopped onto it. So what we're doing is we're trying to... We're basically... Our number one goal is we're trying to maintain our Jade Fire buffs as much as possible. Because if you're if you're punching and kicking without those buffs, then you're just... You're losing out on so much value. 
But outside of that, to put it simply, you're just trying to maximize how many Rising Sun Kicks you can get out because that's good damage. Um, once your your target count starts climbing, you can you can spin and crank it. But I think on this pull, I think I do want to just stick to my single target. Like right now, our Jade Fire buff, our Ancient Teachings fell off, so we Jade Fire stomp to reapply it, and then we're just Rising Sun Kick whenever it's off cooldown, and then we're Tiger Palm, Tiger Palm to get to four stacks of um, Teachings of the Monastery, and then we're Blackout Kicking to try to reset that Rising Sun Kick cooldown. So it sounds like a lot, but really, at the core of it, at the heart of it, it's just why did I walk right back into that? We're just trying to cast one spell as many times as possible. To, to put it like in the super simplified terms. And we do that by stacking up, blackout kicking, rising sun kicking once it comes off. Yeah, rinse and repeat. Kind of stay pretty central in the group. Yeah, see, it does do really good damage. It's like there will be some boss mechanics for Celestial Conduit. Like might not be enough to solo it, but you can kind of pair it pair it with some like more powerful effects like maybe then you you can use thunder focus t right before or, like you can pair it with like a shayloon's gift and just like laugh at a mechanic it's going gg here see like this the target count <laughs> it's like once the target count just starts to climb to where it's like you can't count how many targets they are you definitely should be just spinning crane kicking oh god and we're gonna die here for sure uh we have life again we also have Revival. It feels bad to Revival there, but I did not want to wait the cast out for Shaylons. Definitely, I'm not a fan of this one. Okay, we will Shaylons here, and we'll spell harm too. Oh, okay, here we are going to envelop him as our Thunder Focus here. Or Thunder Focus here, envelop him as how we want to say it. Since we're falling behind on this healing and we had to step out of melee, I am going to like mid-pool reapply these Renewing Mists. That way any Vivacious procs that we get are just that much juicier and help us out a bit more. Ooh, okay, we made it out alive there. We had to dump some cooldowns. We used Revival. I think we used Shailun's like twice there. And Conduit. Dang, that one was real. Um, use, I, used, I used to use Grid 2 and Click. Um, but I just swapped to, to sell, and I'm really liking it. It's very, very good. Um, LOL, I just pulled them when I'm an invoker. Yeah, hey, at least... But but the thing is, like, I don't have rescue, you know? Sometimes what I'll do is I'll ring of peace to make it look like I'm trying to boot my teammate in. And sometimes they will get that idea. They'll be like, oh, I should probably scoot in. <laughs> um, but yeah, if only I had rescue. That is funny, though. Yeah, that is... It's, it's funny, Rescue has like three uses. If you just need to shield someone in a pinch, if you need to like actually move someone for like a good reason, or if you just need to pull the ranged in. But that's so true. Uh, one day I'll get to the level of not using action bar at all. Yeah, I just, I, I was to a point where, um, oh, 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 oh no, that was so close. I got like caught on the terrain. We're so dead, or not. But anyways, um, I just got to the point where... Did I jump over that wave, by the way? But I just disabled my action bar 1. I think I downloaded a Wii 4 that let me do that. So I think in the default UI, you can't just turn off your action bar. Maybe there's like a, a command that you can type or something, but... Um, I, I downloaded a, a, an add-on to let me disable that. And I'm really liking it, but there are some times like... Whenever I swap around like raid builds and stuff, or like swap out talents and like add new spells to my arsenal that I have, it's really annoying because you have to like bind them. So I have to turn on the action bars, bind them, turn off the action bars, and you know, um, like put them on buttons kind of thing. That is annoying, but I really, really love not having action bars. I think I want to scoot this down a bit more, but then I'm like, I don't know. My eyes already do have to travel quite a bit to see a cooldown, but it's okay. And a flick of an eye is a lot less than a. A flick of the wrist, no matter who you are. Alright. Lord of the Rings time. Let's see it. Hey, what's up, War? How you doing? Hello again. Also decided I'm just leveling my Holy Paladin, however boring it may be. Holy Paladin's a good time. Don't let people tell you it's boring. It's a good old time. Okay. What am I doing here? Me. 
I remember this like knocks everyone back now, which is just weird. Vega. going on him. Our monk is fine. What did our monk use there? Our monk used their, like, touch of karma thing. So it's definitely Shailun's here. Oh, boy. It's defensive. I kind of want to life cocoon ourselves, but maybe we can get away with not using it. Should we? No. Dispel ourselves. Let's just like in the paladin. I feel like there's no point in not doing it. Uh oh. Yeeted. Let's just revival. I don't know. Just trying to play it like super safe. Yeah, I'm really liking. I'm still definitely not to the point of. Oh, yeah. Still not to the point of being like completely like minimalist UI, you know. Far from it. Y'all see this giant block of icons that I use for. My cooldowns and stuff. Definitely far off, but I like the direction we're heading. We're, I'm kind of getting rid of a lot of the the useless UI that I, I usually have, or the it's more like redundant UI that I usually have. Like I have, I used to have like a cooldown on two separate spots of my uh, screen, you know, for example. And these vivacious procs. I did Thunder Focus and Bell there because I was on the move and I, I, I needed to cast it on that guy. Oh no. Oh, I thought we were out. No. Oh, that's so tragic. I got booped a bit. That's tragic. Let's like the unit. You know what? YOLO. Maybe we can survive. We can Shaylunes. Keep people alive. Come on, team. You guys got it. I literally was playing so careful until I wasn't. We do have B reses, though. I'm gonna wait till those swirlies end. I see where I'm being rezzed at. Looks safe enough. We got Chi G. Let's pop it. Let's get rolling. This fight's so weird. It's like so slow, too. Oh, no. People. We got such a melee heavy group that I, I'm like mid Chigi and I can't even can't even get close. Let's dispel this guy well, right after he gets boots. Always a fine time to dispel. This fight is awful. Oh yeah, for sure. This fight is pretty bad. It's like pretty annoying. I don't think it's like awful. I think like any number of like annoying one shot mechanics is always just like, ugh, why are these in the dungeon? But like having multiple of them stacked on top of each other, like what do we do that fight, you know? We just ran around and crossed our fingers. That's like the entire fight. Oh god. And y'all know me with jump puzzles and parkour at any point is it's my worst nightmare. Hey yo oh it's a helmet. Oh dude, and someone got our Oh man. We got the helmet. Dang, that's like the one piece we don't need. We're so set on helmets right now. Crazy.